How's it going, everybody? What's up, guys? We're at Benny's parents' house today. What are we doing here, brother? Digging. For what? A patio. All right. Wanna go show him? Go show him. All right. Here it is. So we got a few lines painted on the ground. We still gotta nail it down, but the idea is there's gonna be a patio coming from the right side of that door down. We're gonna loop it around. Nice sitting area for our fire pit. We can't wait to see what this rock looks like. What is that, Benny? About eight by four, full sheet of plywood. <laughs> yeah. I dug a little bit on both sides. It seems to be only about three, four inches thick, so can't wait to see what's gonna happen with that. Um, <clears throat> so our general excavation process is about 10 to 12 inches deep, depending on the soil you get. Um, as long as it's a good sandy, some kind of subsoil, uh, you don't have to go much deeper than that. The other thing is we're going to take all this soil. This is a new septic area. It's all sunk in, so we're going to take the soil and fill it in and regrade this whole area that we excavate out. We're going to build a new side wall and two sets of stairs coming out of this door. There's certainly plenty of roots um, in this excavation process to go around. Um, there's a line of trees along the water here behind me to the right which all um, pretty much grew out and were growing towards the house. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the, uh, the trees getting damaged by this uh, root removal. We're really uh, the closest part to any of these trees is about 15 feet and uh, we're only on probably a third of these uh, tree roots. The rest go the other way and around um, the other side so it's not a big deal. 
Um, sometimes this is just what you have to do when you come to a project like this. You gotta rip out some root systems. You certainly can't lay a patio on top of roots or it will shift without a doubt. So here we are with digging. Um, we just go little section by little section, get rid of all our topsoil, and as you can see, the um, sub sub base below this it even changes color. That means we're getting into a nice gravel um, subsoil, and we're pretty we're pretty good. We're about 10 inches right there from uh, top of end grade so we're all set and um, this was a nice project that we could just take the soil and spread it around the area that we're at I love I love projects like that we don't have to move too much dirt around but um, I guess the only thing I can uh, say about this is when you dig in you see me scraping little layers at a time it's because I don't want to go too deep and create a uh, soft area for a possible sinkhole in the future so Take your time and scrape off the layers little by little, and um, that's my opinion on how you should excavate these patios. Look at that heart, guys. <laughs> Spray painted a piece of Boston Ivy. Looks beautiful. What do you think, Benny? Lovely. <laughs> Well, we're getting down to our sub base right here guys you can see where we start turning into a nice sandy gravel um, so that's when you know you're starting to get pretty good but I just want to take a minute and say if you guys are enjoying the video uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe it really goes a long way with the channel and I appreciate it guys you're about to uh, watch me make a mistake here um, not right away uh, so as I grab this table um, the way I have it when I picked it up right now is probably the way I should have just held on to it I had a nice grip but uh, for some reason I have a feeling like I didn't have a nice grip <laughs> and you're gonna see here um, I readjust and I make a uh, pretty bad error on my uh, readjusting I let it down because like I said I felt like I was in a bad position but as you see here I pinch it in a really bad spot I just shouldn't have right there it snapped I think that's the bottom um, you know I know I'll, I'll probably get some comments from you guys that why didn't I have a skid steer with forks or something but you know you just don't always have the availability to um, have all the machines that you want to have on site so that broke but don't worry guys I still made some really good use out of it and uh, it actually um, worked out pretty well.
guys so I'm uh, doing some compression compacting with the tracks of this 10,000 pound mini excavator which I do as often as I can when I do any kind of excavation because in my opinion this is just as good if not better than compacting with a uh, small to medium sized plate compactor if you can go over the uh, sub base a few times with a machine like this in my opinion you will not have any issues with sinking in the future so that is what I do every time I can with a machine like this and uh, other than uh, compacting with this machine I compacted with a, a mini skid loader in the um, end of this clip that you'll see or not clip the end of the video you'll see and um, that's the only compaction I did for the uh, sub base on this project good morning guys Day two on Ben's parents patio. Um, just wanted to show you where we left off yesterday. It was kind of had to leave in a rush, but everything's excavated out. Down to a good subsoil. Still got to set up some lines and strings, but let's see we're at least 10 inches. Again, I'm gonna try to pitch it away from the house. Um, so we'll do a little bit more prep on the, the subsoil. Uh, we gotta lay the fabric out after the subsoil is graded right and uh, compacted with the machine. First thing I'm gonna do is try to pop this concrete pad out. Get switch over there. I know you guys saw me break that awesome piece of stone. That freaking hurt my heart. Let's go see what it looks like. Such a beautiful piece of granite. And look what I did to it. I know, I'm sorry guys. But I think I got an idea. I think we're either gonna... Ah, I'm not gonna tell you yet. We'll see what we do. We'll see what we do with it. But I think I got an idea. Alright guys, I'll set you up for uh, some time lapses and we'll get this day moving. See that every day. Dude, only in Connecticut, dog. It's a beautiful horse. I wish it went in. I wish the zoom was even further, but. guys we're coming to the end of this uh, portion of our project our excavation we are to the point where we are ready to backfill which will be the next video um, what I'm going to be doing here 
I'm scraping our uh, sub base nice and flat and then I'm going to compression compact it with the uh, ditch witch which is a few thousand pounds um, and this project itself uh, we didn't want to have to go out and get a uh, big compact or anything so we just used the machines to compression compact our sub base which um, I'm perfectly fine with I know I'll probably catch some flack from you guys out here but uh, if you excavate properly and you compression compact a few times with these really heavy machines uh, in my opinion the end result is uh, is just fine this projects actually been sitting for a year now through winter and hasn't shifted at all um, that's the really important part about this system where we use three-quarter inch crust stone and the uh, geotextile soil separation fabric uh, it stays plenty stiff enough without um, having to big get a big uh, reversible plate compact or anything like that um, like I said, I know you guys are going to probably comment and give me some flack, but uh, I've done a few projects like this, and I've had no issues. When I have the availability of a nice compactor, I will certainly use it, but I also compression compact before I use a compactor. So uh, either way, guys, make sure you check out the next part of this project, which is the backfill.